I'm also going to be talking about my 2021 goals and whether or not I accomplished those, so a lot of them I didn't. <laughs> it's fine. Hello everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with my channel and reading goals for 2022. I will say that these are more reading goals than channel goals. I don't really want to set any channel goals for me just because last year I set the goal of, you know, 5,000 subscribers and then I ended up with less subscribers than I did when I started so I just got depressed and I know subscribers are not that big of a deal but like I was like confident I was gonna hit 5k and and I didn't so these are mostly just reading goals for 2022 so without further ado let us get started so the first goal is how many books do I want to read for 2022 last year I set the goal of 140 I ended up increasing it to 160 because I hit 140 in like September so I was like ooh should probably increase that a little bit. I ended up reading 188 books, so this year I am going to try to read 160. I actually do think that this is possible as long as I stay on my reading grind. If I take a little bit of time off, I could still probably hit 160. Like I said, last year I hit it by like September, so, but I also was off work for a big majority of that year because of COVID, so, that's not the case anymore. I'm back at work full time. I honestly don't know if I'm confident in that or not, but that's what we're going with. So let's see if we can accomplish that. And then I have two goals that are the same as last year. The first one is to read at least five books per month and one of them needs to be an ARC. I was able to accomplish that last year, so I feel pretty confident in being able to accomplish that again this year. And then the second, <laughs> the second goal, uh, I did not did not even come close to accomplishing so I am ashamed but I've decided we're going to do it in 2022 and that is to unhaul more books than I haul in. So last year I hauled 149 books and I only unhauled 56 books so I mean I really really failed that so this year it's probably still not gonna work out but but I am trying to you know not buy as many books I kind of went a little bit crazy on New Year's Eve and ended up buying eight more books because it was only at 141 books and then I hauled some more so this year we're not gonna do that we're not gonna go to the thrift store every other weekend and buy lots of books we're not gonna do that we're, we're not gonna do that we're probably gonna do that but it's fine. And so that brings me to my fourth goal, which is to unhaul at least 149 books this year. So I feel less bad about bringing 149 books last year into my household. Um, will that happen? Again, probably not, but we have high hopes for this year. It's going to be a good year. But technically, if I unhaul 149 books, that means that it wasn't a good reading year because I only unhaul books that I've read and given three stars or less to, so maybe this isn't a good challenge or goal for me, but I digress. Last year, I set the goal of reading more of my ARC backlist, which I don't know if I completed this or not because I read a lot of ARCs, like a lot of ARCs, but there are mostly new ARCs. I did read some old ARCs, but I have a lot of ARCs from 2019 to 2020 that I still have not got to. I'm like literally staring at them right now. I have a whole TBR card of just arcs. My challenge this year, or goal, whatever, I keep calling them challenges. Are they challenges or goals? I don't know. I'm going to try to read 20 of my 2019 arcs, and hopefully that'll clear up this TBR card a little bit so that I can add new ones to it, but also hopefully clear up some space. I don't know. And then last year I set the goal to read some of the series that I have started but have yet to finish, specifically Throne of Glass series. I did not pick up any 
of those books so that was a fail i do i do have crown of midnight and air of fire on hold at the library for an audiobook so i'm hoping that that'll kind of give me the push to read it but because i did not touch those books in a year i'm not even gonna talk about those which i just talked about them but that's not one of the goals for 2022 because i always set a goal that has to do with series and i'm just not doing it i'm just not gonna do it it's not it's not happening I also set the goal last year to read more books that intimidated me, which was either books that are very big or books that were out of my genre. So I discovered last year that I am a big fan of fantasy books, which in 2020 I said that I was not a fantasy reader. I didn't like them. My little tiny pea brain, goldfish brain did not understand fantasy, but this year I read a lot of fantasy and I really enjoyed them. So my goal for this year is to read more fantasy books, whether those be YA fantasy because my brain can function on those or try to branch out into more complex adult fantasies like the Stormlight Archives. I've had those books since 2020 and those were the books that kind of pushed me to set that goal last year because I wanted to read books that intimidated me. So this year, like I said, we're going for just the fantasy genre. So that was a little bit of a rambly video but those are the channel reading goals that I have for myself. Will they be accomplished? I don't know. We'll have to check back next year. I failed my 2021 goals if you really think about it. I did not do well. But, you know, I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling flirty. I'm feeling feisty for 2022. So hopefully we can actually complete these goals. Let me know down below what are some of your goals for 2022 for either your channel or just life in general or your reading. I don't really care. I just want to know your goals. But other than that, I hope that you guys have a amazing wonderful, fantastic 2022. I am sending you all so many good vibes and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!